First of all, um, the CMMI, um, the background to the CMMI, as some of you may know, it uh, is produced and maintained by the Software Engineering Institute, which is part of Carnegie Mellon University in the States. And the premise behind the model is that it is providing the framework for process. And process is something which is really about the standard approach that an organisation follows, whether it's written down, which obviously is, is preferable, or it's just the way an organisation behaves typically, that's still process if it's uh, something that's repeatable and, uh, and consistently performed. Good process is important. In fact, it's vital if you want to succeed in, in any endeavour, particularly in systems and software development. And whether you have good people, well that's obviously key, good tools and equipment, that's also very important, and good methods and techniques, if you don't have good process as well, you're going to be actually constrained and limited in your ability to actually succeed. So the premise behind the CMMI is that the quality of a system is highly influenced by the quality of the process used, whether it's to acquire, to develop, and to maintain that system. Okay, so what's in the CMMI? Well, it's a framework, and that's an important point to state right up front. The CMMI is not a standard, a prescriptive standard, in the way that an ISO standard uh, is. Instead, it's a framework, and within that framework, there are now a number of what effectively uh, flavours of the model, uh, which are called constellations. So, the one on, on the left there, CMMI development, is what we're going to be focused on today. There are though two other constellations, just to briefly mention, CMMI acquisition, which is used for uh, organisations who are acquiring products and services from other organisations. Uh, it could be an outsourcing deal or it could be just uh, acquiring a large system. Uh, the CMMI acquisition model guides that sort of work. And then CMMI service, uh, as the name would suggest, is aimed at service environments, whether you're maintaining a system, providing uh, a service such as a help desk, or for that matter, any kind of service environment, not necessarily IT related, uh, where you're following process uh, as a way of actually guaranteeing a, a standardised service. The CMMI services model could still help you. So these are these three constellations. And they have quite a lot of material that's actually common between those constellations. There are in fact 16 process areas that are common to all three. And we'll talk a bit more about what a process area is later on. Those process areas are organised by maturity level, one through to five, and we'll, again we'll explain what a process area and a maturity level means later on. As well as the constellations themselves, there's a standard appraisal method that comes with the CMMI product suite. It's called SCAMPI, it's the standard CMMI appraisal method for process improvement. And that appraisal method is designed specifically for use with one of the CMMI models. Uh, there are three classes of SCAMPI appraisal, A, B and C, uh, basically uh, three levels of rigour that are, is used in those uh, three appraisal classes. And appraisals are led by SEI certified lead appraisers, people who the Software Engineering Institute has recognised through their experience as being able to lead uh, appraisals who've then been through a training programme uh, and are then certified by the SCI. And in order to maintain uh, your certification, a lead appraiser uh, needs to do a certain number of appraisals and maintain their uh, professional development uh, over a period of time. Main purpose of an appraisal though is to benchmark where an organisation actually is at a point in time against the CMMI framework. Uh, the benchmarking may be used just internally, just so that an organisation can actually see where they are uh, for the purposes of driving process improvement, or it could be a, a formal, what we call a Class A appraisal, in order to obtain a, a rating, so effectively benchmarking against industry best practice. So the appraisal method allows the organisation to objectively identify gaps in their current way of working against the CMMI model. And this has been successfully used in a large number of organisations. Uh, it says there are over 14,000 projects in 2,600 organisations, and I think that number is probably a little bit higher now that 
that data is probably about six months old. So it's very much uh, an ongoing, growing community of organisations who've used the Scampi method for appraising against the CMMI. So, how can CMMI be used to help an organisation uh, organization improve? Let's just consider uh, a typical scenario, an organisation with a number of development teams, uh, perhaps spread out over, over different locations. Um, each of those teams will almost certainly have a slightly different approach, maybe even a, a very different approach in some organisations. If you want to improve those teams, a key thing is to understand where they are now and to actually then start to bring those approaches together to harmonise them uh, in order to actually get the best, most effective and efficient way of working. And the CMMI can guide that evolution uh, of the, the way of working across multiple teams. So what you will end up with, your desired uh, situation, is that you have a standard governance framework such that management can see what each project, each team is doing and understand using a common language and a common uh, set of values how well each team is progressing, what the issues and risks are that they're facing. In many organisations there will be multiple types of life cycle and that's perfectly acceptable within the CMMI model. One myth that it's worth dispelling right at the outset is that the CMMI doesn't just work with a traditional waterfall life cycle. It's as capable as being implemented in an agile framework as it is in a traditional uh, environment. So your organisation may have multiple life cycles that it's using and as you can see in this diagram we've got projects using their different life cycles but all under the standard governance framework. So what, what's, the, what's the benefit of all that? Well for a start you get more predictability and repeatability. Uh, projects start to perform more consistently which is always good because you can then actually have a far more confidence that you're actually going to deliver what you've committed to deliver, when you've committed to deliver it, at the cost that you predicted. And that always is, is, a, is a bonus uh, and is highly desirable. You'll spend less time on projects, thrash as we've called it, less time actually thinking about how are we going to do this, how are we going to approach this piece of work, because you'll be able to learn lessons from past projects who've been through if not identical situation, a similar enough situation that you can learn the lessons. You can become then a learning organisation. You can start to focus your best people's efforts on actually solving business problems rather than fixing projects. And of course there's always, there's always problems that, uh, that may arise, so you've got better early warning of, of those problems before they actually happen. Now, as well as, we've already mentioned that uh, we, we can use different life cycles with the CMMI model. So what happens if you've got an organisation where you've already adopted a particular methodology? How does the CMMI fit in with, as we've got in this example here, PRINCE2 or RUP or Agile or APM? Well, it actually fits very well because the CMMI is a framework. It can actually sit above these methodologies so that uh, the model is used to guide the implementation of those different methodologies on projects. And those methodologies themselves will provide many features that actually support satisfaction of the model. If you have a target of achieving a particular rating, then, then you'd be very interested in that because you will be able to leverage what you've already done or already using to actually help you uh, a long way towards achieving your target CMMI rating. As well as that, the appraisal method, Scampi, that I've already talked about, uh, is actually there to, to verify the model's compliance with the actual processes, procedures and techniques that the organisation is using. So that in a, a scampy appraisal, we are interested in actually what's happening on the ground on a project, how the techniques and methods are being used, and then it is the responsibility of the scampy appraisal team to actually interpret that, map it to the CMMI model, and actually then come up with a list of, of recommendations and findings. It's not then the organisation's concern to actually fully understand the model. The organisation, the people actually on the ground doing the work, can focus on the particular methodology that they're using to do the job. They do not have to worry in detail about what's in the CMMI model.